The Vault platform and Vault CTMS allow you to automate mundane tasks so that your CRAs and study managers no longer have to spend time on manual processes to ultimately reduce monitoring effort and cost, simplify your processes across your functional teams, and keep your site and trial statuses up to date based on designated completed milestones. In this video, we'll take a look at some of the key areas Vault CTMS will systematically move your work streams forward. Through the setup of a site, our CRAs and study managers have the ability to keep their study team roster up to date with the ability to quickly add any sort of principal investigators to a site. Following this simple addition, any documentation that has been already collected in accordance with that person will automatically be pulled into that site's list of documents and filed in the appropriate location within your TMF. Flashing forward in our site's lifecycle to the closing phase, there's also automation available as part of the monitoring process. In completing our closeout visit trip report, there will be a section dedicated to filling out any new protocol deviations we've been made aware of. As we fill out these protocol deviations and the information surrounding it, we'll have an opportunity to designate each of these as major deviations or minor deviations. Through this designation and upon save, the deviation will be automatically escalated and notifications will be sent to the appropriate groups of people such as the study manager assigned to this trial. Within that notification, they'll receive a quick link to that protocol deviation so that they'll always have the most up-to-date information on major protocol deviations at a site. Flashing forward in the process once again, upon approval of our closeout trip report, Vault will perform two system-triggered actions. The first of which is the automatic creation of the trip report document that's been filed appropriately in our TMF structure. Additionally, Vault CTMS will trigger the site to move to the closed phase in its lifecycle, all with minimal effort by our monitoring team.